the ones, just kind of what do you know about uh, that Ohio State defense, and you know how is it different than last year? Um, well, they're they're a lot more they're a lot more experienced on the on the linebackers and secondary and stuff. So um, I mean, they run the base four three. It'll be it's, I mean similar stuff to last year, um, but they do a lot of kind of a lot of similar stuff to what our defense does now. What do you have to do to be able to to kind of get the running game going with a little bit more consistency than you have so far? Um, we just got we just got to keep attacking them each and every play. Just go hard and you know just uh, let it just be patient what we do and just let uh, take care of the little things. How much of a challenge is it if people think about you know football players you know concentrating on games doing that? But you got to go to class. You got to live the life of a regular college kid. I mean, mm-hmm. how do you find that balance with and and when you first got here, how did you talk to other people about how to do that? Uh, I mean, not really. I knew. I mean, I mean, coming in, it was, was going to be a lot different than high school. But it's just, I mean, it's your focus and your drive, your motivate, whatever motivates you to do to do the right things on and off the field is what's going to drive you to make sure you do the things off the field in the classroom to help you be able to play on the field. I know that you're a SPIA major. What are you hoping to do with that? Uh, I'm a nonprofit nonprofit management major, so I'm planning on you know start volunteering, doing some work, and then you know uh, open up my own own little own little stuff. Okay, what, what is it that, uh, have you done that kind of work before? Uh, yes, I do a lot of volunteering around the community and back at home and stuff. So, I mean, I'm used to it. I'm doing, I got a, you know, a bunch of interns lined up. So, I mean, it's, it's wide open. What, what kind of uh, organizations have you worked for in the past? Uh, I mean, all the, all the cancer runs, work with the American Red Cross, um, you know, kids back at, in uh, community schools back at home, uh, doing like reading, helping them reading, homework and all that kind of stuff, or, you know, just any volunteer work uh, that anybody needs. Now, as you, you know, you've obviously grown in notoriety as the years have gone on. People know your face. People know who you are. Uh, does that change your college experience and maybe what it was when you were, you know, going through your redshirt year? Uh, definitely. Do, do people treat you different, basically? Um, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll say a little bit. I'll be lying if I say no, but they do treat you different. You know, I mean, everybody looks up to you. You got, you know, people, more people watching you and stuff. So, you, you know, you got you to gotta watch out what you do around people and you just got to, you know, you know, stay positive and you know, uh, keep 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 them in mind because I mean they're fans and you just got to keep rolling. What's your some of the NFL players that you grew up watching that you really kind of are your favorite players? Uh, right now or past? Both. Um, well, past. Well, definitely Walter Payton, but I like watching uh, Ladanian Thomason and you know uh, just my, my, I watch film on it like every running back each week and just see see how they do. So what I need to work on. How much do you remember of Walter? Is that just purely off the tapes? Uh, off the tapes. I mean, I mean, he's just a family guy. I mean, knowing from that and and talking with a couple others. I mean, he's just he's a family and religion based person first, and mm-hmm. you know he did he did a lot of things on and off the field and a lot of things with the community too. So I mean, I look up to him a lot. With your uh, family, after you have a good game, if you have a, a rough game, you know, are they people who are just always encouraging you, or do you, do they give you some criticism? You could have done that. You could have done that. Oh, they just encourage me. Just tell me keep keep my head up, keep doing a good job. Most of the time after a loss, I just I just stay in my room and don't talk to anybody. But I mean, I'm getting better with that. But my family's there when I need them. Now, we have to ask you about the hair. You know, what, what, what's what's the the story behind that? And just you know, something different. You know, I know that you had the mohawk uh, at, at the start of camp too, but yes. you're one of the few that kept it. I've had the mohawk ever since my sophomore year in high school, so it's just it's just rolled with me. And I mean, I'm just trying something new, and I'm uh, I'm gonna do some more designs to it, and just see see what happens. Let my hair grow out a little bit with it. So. Do you take suggestions on, on it from other people? Or? Sometimes I yeah. do, but they give crazy ideas, so I just do whatever I whatever I come up with. Yeah.